trust the earth Cause each step's a rebirth of a never-ending soul needing to be On a never-ending stroll to this new life Nearly a thousand people packed into Stanton's High School's auditorium to hear the United States Air Force Band Jazz Ensemble Airmen of Note. In 2018, the U.S. Air Force is celebrating 71 years of service. excited to come see the Airmen of Note because my husband and I are both uh, musicians, we're both musical. Um, he is a band director, um, his father was a band director, and so music is just in our blood. We love music. Among the crowd were musicians Holly Moody and her husband Greg. <laughs> that song many times so it's really <laughs> familiar I've, I've, I've done that before you know said this Pennsylvania 6 5000 so you know again feels like home Willard Phillips is a 30-year United States Navy veteran. I went to see Glenn Miller in Waynesboro. It was good, but this one is better because this is military. The Airmen of Note, Stanton Tour Stop, only happens every five years. That's according to Ray Holster. Holster is a 30-year veteran Chief Master Sergeant retired from the Air Force Band. He was honored during the Airmen of Note concert by Chief of the Airmen of Note, Kevin Burns. Now it gives me a great pleasure to introduce to you uh, our sponsor for this evening. This is a gentleman I want to uh, bring out to the stage who put this show for all of us together. And he has been a dear friend of the United States Air Force Band for a very long time. He is actually a 30-year veteran of the United States Air Force Band, uh, retired from the United States Air Force, retired Chief Master Sergeant Ray Hoster. Please come on out to us. We love, anytime we get directed to come down here, the very first call we make is to Chief Hoster because we know he's gonna take care of us and he's gonna take care of you just like he did this evening because we're all here together, filling this place, having a great time this evening. And it's because of this man. And uh, so I wanna thank him. And I wanna just present him a, a small token of our appreciation for bringing us out here. This is just to go prominently in your office or your personal space. This is just to let you know that we are so grateful of what you did for this evening. And uh, thank you once again. Someone has to sponsor them. In any city, uh, and in this case, I know them, I know how to do it. And every time I go to Washington, I go into the office and say, any trips coming up? And uh, they have me, they remember me. So uh, they give me a call and say, it looks like we're gonna be able to do a run out in Virginia. So uh, can you set up a date? So uh, perhaps six, eight months ago, I set up the date here, and then I began to develop the support. The veteran explained the necessity of using tickets to enter the concert, even though the tickets were free. You need tickets even though they're free because the Department of Defense wants to know how many people were here. So it's important that we put a, group of, a sizable audience together. Chief Burns has served in the Air Force for more than two decades. I've been in the United States Air Force for 25 years this Friday, as a matter of fact. This is uh, my anniversary tour. And uh, we're part of the Air Force Public Affairs. We're communicators, we get out among the public, and uh, we bring great music, 
historical music. This music that the big band plays has deep ties to the U.S. military. Uh, it's very Americana and it ranges from big band jazz to patriotic. And so we love getting out in communities and uh, meeting people from across the country. We tour a couple times a year. And in the past 25 years, I've been from every state, north, south, east, and west of the continental U.S. and most cities of any size. And it's been an incredible experience. Chief Burns says the 18-piece jazz ensemble is made up of the best of the best musicians in the country. My job is very meaningful to me on two different levels. Of course, as a member of the United States Air Force, I'm part of something that is so much bigger than myself. It's a gigantic team of men and women serving this nation. And on a personal level, I'm getting to do what I love as a musician. Uh, so I'm, I'm serving my country and getting to perform at the highest level. These airmen musicians that were performing here tonight in Stanton, uh, when they came to the band, they won auditions from a national pool of the best of the best. It's very difficult to get into the Washington, D.C. military bands, and, and we enjoy getting out of D.C. as much as possible to connect with communities like Stanton we did here tonight. He explained how Stanton became a part of the Airmen of Note 2018 Fall Tour. The reason why we're coming to this area is because all of the D.C. military bands get directed by the Department of Defense uh, at the Pentagon to go out from Washington, D.C. in different directions. And so we were directed to come through Virginia and into my home state of Tennessee. And so we, have, we haven't been here in about five years, and so it's nice to, to get to reconnect. Chief Burns described the jazz ensemble's various styles of music. It's classic big band era sized that was started back in the late 30s with Duke Ellington, Count Basie, Glenn Miller orchestras. Uh, and we were formed to carry on that great tradition because uh, Glenn Miller was such an iconic figure of American music and eventually military music when he volunteered to come in to serve this country. And so our legacy comes straight from that, uh, that part of history, military history, and Glenn Miller's service, and we've carried it on ever since. Stanton, Elaine Rackley for Breaking Through News.